So if you've been following this channel for some while, you'll know that in my top videos, we speak about quantum computing. Now, I've been very clear, IBM's a client of mine, and they like to push quantum computing on me quite hard, and they've got some really interesting stuff to talk about. However, there are more types of quantum computing out there that are really starting to make a slash. I'm here at a company called Pascal, who's doing something called neutral rubidium atom qubits, which sounds insane. Um, and they've actually got like a 3D printed model of what their system is and like a human for scale. So what we have here, what we have here, um, lasers essentially controlling neutral rubidium atoms. And it, just in the same way that how we've spoken about previous quantum computing, about uh, coherency times and qubits and gates, all the same stuff applies. The question is, how do we scale? Uh, so these guys, they've shown off 100 and 200 qubit systems. They've announced the next year we've got 1,000 qubit systems coming. Um, it's a, they're, they're part of a couple of companies now that are announcing 1,000 qubit systems ahead of everybody else. That's what makes this stuff really exciting. Now, just to explain what we have here, so obviously you have the center bit where you're dealing with your qubits and doing computation. Down the sides here, you've got control systems. And control systems are very much needed in order to get these qubits to actually work the way that they should. I was speaking to a company saying, uh, and they, they had a 150 qubit system. And I asked, how much power consumption does that system take? And they said 25 kilowatts, which is a rack. If you think about standard data center, that's a rack. Essentially, these quantum computers today are less power dense than AI and uh, machine learning, uh, which is insane. So if you want to save power in your data center, get a quantum computer. My minimum specification here is, ooh, lasers.